Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for zinc nitrate plus sodium phosphate. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation, and this is the molecular equation. I think I have three zincs here, and then I have just one. So I'm going to put a three here. Now the zincs are balanced, but I have two nitrates. So two times three, six nitrates, and only one here. I put a six here that balances the nitrates, but now I have six sodiums. So if I put a two in front of the sodium phosphate, two times three, now I have six sodiums on both sides, two phosphates here, and then the phosphate here times two. So I have two of those. We're done. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we've got to balance the net ionic equation. So to do that, we need to write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So compounds with the nitrate ion here, they're going to be soluble. They'll dissolve, dissociate into their ions. In compounds with sodium, they are also soluble. They'll dissociate into their ions. But most phosphates, with the exception of sodium phosphate, some other group one elements, most phosphates are insoluble. That means that when these two substances react, this is going to be a solid. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So now we have our states. At this point, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And note that we didn't split the solid apart. This is zinc phosphate here. Because it's a solid, we don't split that apart into its ions in net ionic equations. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I see in the reactants, we have six of these nitrate ions. We also have six of them in the products. These are spectator ions. We can cross those out. We have six of these sodium ions in the reactants and again in the products. Spectator ions, we cross them out. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for ZnNO3 2 plus Na3PO4. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for zinc nitrate plus sodium phosphate. You note that charge is balanced. 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. This all adds up to 0. Over here, neutral compound charge, that's 0 as well. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for zinc nitrate plus sodium phosphate. Thanks for watching.